The sun beat down on the dusty road, baking the asphalt. A small, striped creature, barely bigger than a squirrel, lay whimpering on the roadside, its tiny body shivering in the heat. The family, returning from their afternoon market run, spotted it and stopped their truck. The kitten was so tiny, barely a handful, but its fur was a vibrant mix of black and white, with sleek stripes that couldn't be mistaken for a domestic cat. It was a far cry from the fluffy, round kittens they were used to. A shiver of unease ran through the family, the kitten looked almost wild. They approached cautiously, expecting the mother to appear any moment, but the only sound was the chirping of cicadas in the nearby trees. The kitten, its eyes wide and fearful, remained motionless, its tiny body trembling with cold. The family knew they couldn't leave it there. A call to the Wildlife Care Foundation was made, and within the hour, a team of rescuers arrived, their faces a mix of concern and awe. This is no ordinary kitten, one rescuer said, gently scooping the trembling creature into a blanket. It's a fisher cat cub. They're rare, endangered. He trailed off, his gaze searching the surrounding brush for any sign of the mother. The rescuers explained that years ago, a young fisher cat had been found injured in a nearby rice field. A kind family had nursed her back to health and released her into the wild, but she had stayed close to them, returning to their home from time to time. It seems she's chosen this spot to have her litter, the rescuer said, his voice heavy with the weight of the situation. This baby's been separated from her mother, probably fell from her nest. The kitten, now christened Simba, was taken to a specialized clinic for wild animals. The journey was tense, every bump in the road threatening to dislodge the tiny creature. The veterinarian, cradling Simba gently in her arms, kept a watchful eye on him whispering reassurances to the trembling baby. Simba, despite his initial frailty, thrived under the expert care of the clinic. He grew stronger, his stripes becoming more distinct, his playful energy filling the room with his mischievous antics. One afternoon, as the rescuers prepared to move Simba to a larger enclosure, a commotion erupted outside. A sleek, black and white figure, with eyes like golden embers, slipped through an open window. It was Simba's mother. The reunion was a sight to behold. Mother and son, separated for weeks, were reunited in a whirlwind of meows and purrs. The mother, her eyes filled with a wild, primal love, nuzzled her cub, her body trembling with relief. The rescuers, their hearts filled with joy, watched the scene unfold. The decision was unanimous, Simba would be returned to his mother. The next morning, the team carefully carried a small cage filled with Simba and some fresh-caught fish to a secluded spot in the forest, far from human habitation. The cage was opened, and with a final, loving glance, Simba's mother whisked him away, disappearing into the thick foliage.